just awful being referred to as a killer, a murderer. Josinki, a young, successful engineer, seemed to have it all. Career, friends, and a loving girlfriend, Anu Singh. But behind closed doors, Anu was struggling with disturbing thoughts, convinced that something terrible was happening to her body. These fears consumed her, twisting her minds into something darker. In October 1997, Anu hosted a dinner party, but this was not an ordinary gathering. Hidden beneath the smiles and laughters, she had already decided that this would be Joe's last night. What unfolded was more sensitive than anyone at the party could have imagined. Shockingly, those in attendance knew something was wrong, but no one stepped in to stop it. That night, Anu gave Josinki a drink, mixed with a heavy sedative. Once he was under the influence, she administered a harmful substance to him while he was unconscious. As his condition worsened over the course of hours, Anu did not seek help until it was too late. By morning, Josinki was unalive. Anu Singh was arrested, but her defense argued she wasn't in her right mind. The punishment? Just a few short years in prison. What really happened that night? How did this love story turn into one of Australia's darkest cases? After everything you have heard, do you think Anu Singh's mental illness justifies her reduced sentence?